Hello, this is Cyprian from FEF All, and uh, I decided to make a few videos about uh, Fortran. Uh, so that's why I'm talking about that right now uh, on the blog. So uh, let me explain first why I'm doing that, because Fortran is uh, a very old language. So why would you like to study Fortran? Uh, actually, if this is your first language and you are just getting into uh, programmation and you want to make some simple programs, I don't recommend you to go into Fortran. So uh, just leave this video and uh, instead try to learn Python. So I'll have also some videos about that on the blog. Um, now, if uh, so, why you, do you need Fortran? Uh, sometimes you know you you get into very old uh, codes which are uh, like decades old, and everything is in Fortran. So you need to have this knowledge in order to understand what is going on. So, for example, uh, code aster source code, a lot of things is in Fortran. So if you want to understand the algorithms, if you want to be able to, to add functions, to compile the source code and all of those, these things, you will need to have a basic knowledge of Fortran. So this Sarah video that I'm doing right now uh, has the purpose to get you into, uh, you know, very basics uh, of uh, Fortran uh, and I hope it will really be useful for you to, to understand uh, source code of other programs. Okay, so without any more talking, let's start right now. So let's, um, so I'll, I'll cd into my desktop and what I'll do is that I'll create uh, a very simple hello world program to show you how to uh, write your first Fortran program and how it works to compile it. So let's make a new directory uh, called Fortran. So you see that it appears on my desktop, right? Um, and by the way, I'm on Linux, uh, Ubuntu 16.04, uh, but you can also uh, use uh, uh, do Fortran on other systems, so depending on you. So for the compilation, it will be a bit different, but we will talk about that a bit after. So uh, I have my Fortran file, so let's cd into this. Okay, and let's open uh, a new text file. Uh, so let's call it hello world and give it an extension F95. So I'm using here the convention of Fortran 95. Uh, there are different kind of Fortrans. Uh, the most you know known uh, versions are Fortran 77, Fortran 90, and Fortran uh, 95. So those are respective versions. So the, the oldest is, of course, 77, which is very old kind of format, which still use fixed format source code and has a lot of annoying stuff inside. So if you really want to do that, uh, well, you're, you can do it, but the, the best is to start with like 95, so, okay, so now let's open my new file so that there's nothing inside. Uh, another thing I'm using uh, Emacs text editor, but you can use JDIT or you can use uh, any kind of text editor is okay, really. Uh, I just, I'm just discovering Emacs those days and I find it really fun. So uh, I'm just, you know, uh, using that. But anyway, so let's go into our first program. So um, open my file. So it starts always with a common program and the name of your program. So my program will be called Hello World. So I'm just entering Hello World. And then uh, you have to close that called End Program like that and repeat the name of your program, Hello World. Right. So now you have, uh, you, have, uh, you have to write something in between, right? So the way now we, we just wanted to do a basic function which is to print hello world right so the the what we have to do here is to use the common print uh and in fortran you put um you put a small star like that uh and after that oh no there is no parenthesis sorry so you put a small star you put um comma and then you put the the string that you want to print so hello world like that uh, let's save so control x control s um, and now it's ready so it's really 
quite simple for this first uh, Fortran program. But now, how do I execute and actually get the to see the result? So that's that's how uh, it works. So first, let's open this uh, folder to show you uh, that when uh, I compute my program, this will appear here. Uh, okay, so uh, open new terminal window. And now I will use a uh, gfortran program to compile my Fortran file. So gfortran, it's also um, a program that needs to be installed on your computer. So if you don't have it, you need to install it. Uh, I think generally Ubuntu, I think, must have it. But anyway, uh, if you don't have it, install it. So gfortran uh, and then dash o then you put the name of your executable that would be generated so hello world uh, and then the name of the file to compile hello world.f95 enter and you see that in my uh in my folder here the hello world executable has been generated so now how do i launch it so if i double click on it you see it doesn't work so I have to execute it from the terminal command because now it's it's just a, a terminal kind of uh, program for the moment. So to execute it, uh, point dash and the name hello world like that. Enter and it works. Hello, I have hello world on the prompt. So that's really a very, very simple program. Uh, but that show you how to do this kind of hello world program. Now, uh, if you are not on Linux, Ubuntu, you are on Windows or something, you'll have to find a way to, to compile a Fortran program. Uh, you, you have just to go on Google and search for Fortran compiler for Windows, and I'm sure you'll find a few, uh, a few solutions to do that. Okay, so I guess that's all for this first video. Uh, it was really simple. In the next video, we'll see a bit more about how to uh, add things into the file like variables, how to declare variables and how to do, uh, we'll see, uh, how to read a variable from terminal, all this kind of thing, we'll do it in the next video. So uh, see you in the next video.